what we're gonna do is we're going to try and make Penny in The Sims. I don't know whether it's going to work. Um, the picture is up for reference, just in case we need to see. But I'm not very good at making Sims. I enjoy making Sims, but I'm not very good at making them look like what they're meant to look like. Okay, let's get into creating um, her face. So I'm just gonna take off the hair and I might take off the clothes as well. So let's go for the skin color first. So obviously um, we're looking at a pixelated image of Penny, um, which essentially is kind of giving us nothing, but she's definitely quite pale. So I'm thinking maybe, no, that's not. I want like pink, brightest version of the pinky undertone. So I think we might go for something like this. I don't have any um, custom skin tones at the moment. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead with this one. This is the funny part because obviously from the side profile, Penny looks one way and then you can also see her from the straight on angle when she's walking around and stuff and just standing. So, <laughs> The second picture up above of her full body, obviously we're just gonna be using that for clothes. So the only thing we can use for reference is the picture of her side profile. So Penny looks like she has a tiny little nose and I think that's what we might start with. So a tiny, tiny little button nose um, that seems to be like literally the smallest nose you've ever seen in your life. I literally have like the only CC that I have, you'll see in a minute, I only have like a few skin details and hair because that's what I did. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I want to make it more like button. So kind of like that, I guess. Oh no, that's kind of ugly though. Too much. Maybe like this. I'm going to <laughs> make your eyes quite big, but obviously still sim-like. She does have quite big, big eyes. But they seem quite flat at the bottom, kind of like this. Kind of like as if she's always lightly just like hinting a little smile. Oh, these actually look quite nice because they're very like anime kind of eyes. I just want to play around with her eyes a little bit more. Um, okay, we can't really see her brows. But I'm thinking she would have quite smallish brows. Although Penny doesn't seem to me like the person that would get her eyebrows done like often. <laughs> She kind of feels like, to me, she's very, like, low maintenance. Um, I do find eyebrows to be <laughs> very important, but the shape of these are absolutely just <laughs> gross. I feel like her eyes would be, or her eyebrows would be quite rounded, but I want to make them smaller. Oh yeah, there we go, okay. So I'm kind of thinking something like this. I feel like her cheekbones are quite high up. And then her chin is quite small. So if I was to actually bring her chin... I don't know, it's quite pointed. So let's move on to the lips. She looks like she has the cutest little smallest poutiest lips in, in like the whole of lifetime. So I'm thinking if we start off with these ones, we'll make them a little bit smaller. So like a tiny little top lip. But it is quite perky, I want to say but they're not really the biggest kind of lips, you know, they're quite small, kind of like this. Oh, she's so cute. In the picture, she looks like she just has like the perfect amount of like, I have no lips, so I really can't talk, but I just think that it's quite cute. I think I might give her these eyes, to be honest with you, because I think they have the perfect like amount of anime and sparkle to the eye and they also look very soft and gentle but also they kind of look like she could cry at any moment which is kind of how I feel Penny is <laughs> like she could cry at any point of her of her existence but then her chin is like pointing out a little bit too much for me I feel like her chin is smaller like that oh what's that what have I done I feel like I've messed up her whole face why is there like a weird angle there? Um, I feel like I've messed up her face. Like I totally just messed everything up. I feel like I need to change her actual eye. I feel like she has a little bit of an eyelid going on. I'm kind of thinking more like this or yeah, wait, actually, if I go into detail mode now and if I just make her eyes bigger, 
more rounder like that okay okay i think we're getting somewhere oh god no one sec i feel like we are getting somewhere with her like this is that nice i feel like i've messed up her eyes again i kind of want her lids to be more like this as if she's kind of like smiling <laughs> kind of like that but she's also like you can see the pain in her eyes that's kind of what i want to see i kind of want to see this like happy face but also a little bit sad because i think as far as i'm concerned penny has a little bit of a sad storyline too wait let me just google penny penny lives with her mom pam in a little trailer by the river pam is out um while pam is out cruising what's that word mean cruising at the saloon penny quietly tends to her chores in the dim stuffy room she's forced to call home it says that pam is her mother and she's an abusive alcoholic who lives in a cramped trailer yeah I, I find it really interesting how every single character in um stardew valley has like a very very intriguing and interesting and quite heavy storyline and that's kind of how i feel about penny i feel like she is a victim of like kind of do you know not necessarily abuse i, I like it says here that she gets abused but I, I don't think she does but i think she's like a lot like just strained mentally and she obviously wants to get out and every time you talk to her she always says like oh i'd love to get out and like live somewhere else which, you know, makes me really sad about her. I'm not sure how much makeup she would wear or how much lashes she would have. So I think I might give her like a tiny, tiny little lashes. Although these are massive. I feel like tiny little eyelashes would work. Like, why is it? Like, it's so thick looking. What's happening? Do you get me? Like, what's happening with that line here? <laughs> she looks like she has a very, very, very clear skin, to be honest with you almost like nothing on the skin but what makes me feel like also is that she spends a lot of her time outside with like the kids and stuff and she sits underneath the tree quite a lot in in the main town center of stardew obviously and she also likes to sit on the bench which makes me think she is exposed to sunlight which makes me think she has a few little freckles so i think i might give her some freckles oh this one uh, not this one but this one so you can see the tiniest little bit of like bags under her eyes because she's obviously like been through a lot she works quite a lot she does a lot of the chores at home so you can see that tiredness around her face what do you think or should we try let me see what else i would have that would work i don't want something too intense because she still looks like she has quite clear skin but maybe like a few little birthmarks or little freckles she's so cute i don't like the way this messes up with the freckles do you see the the graphics kind of mess up with the freckles what's that about she has little mouth corn okay she has little mouth corners so we could add a tiny little bit of like you can kind of see a little bit of shading around her mouth okay why don't we go ahead and add some like lip color because i think the main part of her makeup is kind of her rosy little lips although i don't even know if they are like if that's even makeup is that just natural lips so i'm thinking that since penny doesn't have much time to herself she kind of just um has a little bit of like rosiness to her lips but that's it and I'm kind of thinking her lips would be quite chapped. No, that's not what we want. I'm kind of thinking that they would be quite like dehydrated. I love these lips here. These are the three of my favorite kind of lips for like natural. You know, like that kind of looks so cute. <gasps> if I turn it down a little bit so it's not as vibrant. Oh my God. Make her look a little bit more realistic. I add this to quite a lot of my sims to give them a little bit more texture to the skin because i don't really like how smooth and round and just blank the sims look Do you know it makes her look a lot more realistic but there's still like enough balance i also want feet to come back to give him that soft 
<laughs> it only works if he's a viewer in the specific stream. That's so annoying. Right, let's look at the hair options. As I said, I don't have a lot of hair. Like, I, I don't think I'll actually have hair for her. So I'm thinking, will I just quickly download a hair that would look like hers? That is actually really cute though, but that's the wrong shade. So I, we won't be going for that one. I hate this hair. Honestly, Sims 4 hair CC low bun. So it's like a low bun. Yeah, okay, look, so images. Um, This hair, it's there, it's there. Okay, it's there. <gasps> Please tell me it has the right shade. Oh my God, yes. Do you think this is nice? Oh my god, I kind of love this. Oh my god, this is Penny. I think this is the right kind of Penny that I had in mind. Although I feel like we're still missing a little bit of shadow around her eyes. So let's go back into the eyes. No, actually no, that's not the right vibe at all. Actually, one sec. No. Don't I have like, yeah, like something like this. But if this was like a dark brown. Okay, well, we don't have a dark brown. I like I have loads of eyeshadow, but it's not the kind of eyeshadow that I want. Maybe I'll just give her this. So it's like a neutral, like a little bit of shading. Let's see. What about Oh, you don't see bars on the side? Okay, that's good. Maybe that's just my computer just you know, my computer just being its best life, living its best life. Doing crazy things. Okay, so I think that Penny has a green little stud earring. And I hate this earring hate the color of it why would you ever wear like a diamond green earring like this i don't understand so yeah that's that's not gonna work for me unfortunately so i don't know what to do because we could do black now tell me am i crazy but that earring in her ear right now looks black okay doesn't it but then the swatch is like a navy blue um what's that about sims I think they look really adorable. But then again, oh, what about these ones? Oh my God, these ones. I think I might have to go for these ones. Look how like adorable and like sad they look. <laughs> okay, I think I might give her these eyes because look at that shadow in the eyes. I think it actually matches perfectly to the picture. Because just above her eyelids, you can see that there's quite a lot of darkness. And I feel like those eyes, for some reason, have that darkness in them. Oh, she's adorable. Okay, okay, okay. What I might do is I might do her um, outfit now. And then we'll have a look at if there's anything else that we need to add. So, I feel like her body shape, she more than likely has, I guess, like this kind of body shape. I don't really know. 